Un kocho. Please be seated. The court is now back in session. And before I to Council Victor Coupe, the chamber would like to remind the defense teams that you have the rest of this afternoon and one additional tomorrow morning session. And that is all the time allowed for the defense. You can proceed, uh, Councilor Coupe. And uh, Councilor Coupe, uh, please uh, arrange the time, the combined time for the defense teams uh, with the case and point defense team. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I have a few more topics that I would like to discuss with you. Um, but before I do that, I would like to go back to your very last answer before the break. I'm not quite sure if I understand. Did you say that you were afraid to give answers on Vietnam's policy because of what exactly? Some, some looks. Witness, uh, counsel, please uh, put your Merci. question again. You said something before the break, Mr. Witness, uh, when I was asking you questions about the Indo-Chinese Federation and Vietnam's ambitions, and then you said something to the effect that you were somehow afraid to speak about that because of the fact that many Vietnamese lived in Kampuchea. Was that your statement? And if yes, what exactly do you mean by that? I prefer not to talk uh, in length about the ambition of uh, Vietnam because if I do so, then I would be concerned about my personal safety. When I appear before this court, my photo, my voice, my video, and the content of what I say are broadcast uh, everywhere by radio and television. Vietnamese people could uh, hear it and listen uh, to it, and people in some load and everywhere also uh, can hear it and listen to it. For that reason, I and for my personal security, I prefer not to talk uh, at length on this issue. Also, when I asked questions about Vietnam's policy 40 years ago, Et même lorsque je parle de la politique vietnamienne il y a 40 ans? I still Réponse. have uh, concern, as I just stated, Je reste et demeure inquiet, comme je viens de vous le dire. Very well, uh, Mr. Witness, I move on to my new, to my my last topics. Um, and one of my last topics is something that I would like to discuss with you, um, with the document E three four nine four zero nine three in hands. That's a document that we have been discussing uh, today and yesterday at length. Uh, Mr. Duty Council, E3-4093. Uh, and more specifically, I would like to ask you a question about uh, English page, English ERN page 00831489. Khmer 002 
and French 0, 0729676. Um, this report is writing something about um, two women. One is named Naichi, the wife of Seng. I see that the witness still hasn't. This one I know, uh, Mr. President, he has in front of him. This is E3-4093. That's the document with your signature. And then I would like to take you, Mr. Witness, to Khmer page that ends with 90. And the document talks about two females, Nai Chi, the wife of Seng, and Pana. Are you seeing it? Mr. President, I have an extra copy. Monsieur le Président, j'ai un exemplaire supplémentaire. President, uh, officer, please uh, take the document from the uh, Defense Council for the witness examination. So, like I said, um, Mr. Witness, I would like to draw your attention to what is written in relation to Night Chi, um, and especially the box that I made for you. It says, I read the English translation, this woman has contradictions with the revolution, leading to endless sorting out. Along with this, she constantly looks down on the leading cadre. As for her activities, she pretends to be crazy and endlessly steals everything. No matter how she is educated, she refuses to refashion herself. Um, my question, Mr. Witness, is to the sentence about the sentence, no matter how she is educated, she refuses to refashion herself. Would you be able to say anything about Que -vous nous dire? Uh, the amount of times um, attempts were made to re-educate or refashion people Au sujet du nombre de in general. Qui sont faites en général pour rééduquer, corriger les gens de façon générale. As for the time period for the education, usually it would last for half a day. En général, la période de rééducation dure une demi-journée. Would it happen that somebody was um, sent for re-education, finished the re-education, and then at one point in time came back and was sent for re-education again and again and again? Et à nouveau encore une fois pour éducation. On this issue that the person uh, pretends to be crazy or, or, or was, uh, believes to be crazy, then the re-education sessions uh, could uh, keep uh, continue. Would you be able to give an estimate as in general, up to how many times could somebody be sent for re-education?
กี่ปราเปลตีกันลักไข่ตั้งมาค่ะ Use the period for the re-education sessions from anywhere between two weeks to one month. En général, ça pouvait durer entre deux semaines et un mois. So did it happen that you know of that somebody was sent for re-education, came back and was sent for re-education again, but then for a longer period of time, and then. Came back again. Was again sent for re-education. Envoyé pour une rééducation et revenu a été envoyé nouveau envoyé en rééducation pour une plus longue période et revenu et à nouveau été envoyé en rééducation pour une plus longue période. I did not encounter that issue. Je n'ai jamais. Okay, um, Mr. Witness, when somebody was sent to re-education office 105, also known as Krang Tachan, uh, do you know uh, if re-education was um, done there as well, and if yes? Can you say something about how long the re-education could last for people who were sent to Kangtachan? La rééducation et savez-vous combien de temps cette rééducation durait pour les personnes qui y étaient envoyées? Réponse. I did not know about that. However, concerning the issue of the uh, woman in this document, she will probably be uh, re-educated at Maine's place at Angroka. I did not know what happened at the Akrantachan office. Why are you saying that she might be sent there rather than to Krangtachan. Pourquoi dites-vous qu'elle a probablement été envoyée là-bas plutôt qu'à Krangtachan? Réponse. This woman was involved in a minor offence. Parce que cette femme avait commis And un délit mineur. Would be, she would likely be sent to a, a re-education place a at Angroka, that is at a place uh, where Meng was in charge. Meng était en responsable de cet endroit. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, as just mentioned by me before, Krang Tachan was officially named Re-Education Office 105. Um, the title of this office or center would imply that people were sent there for re-education. Do you know whether that was really the case or was it, or, or did the title not um, fit with the events or the things that happened there? Can you say anything about the title of that security center? Que pouvez-vous nous dire au sujet de la pertinence du titre qui était donné à Krangtachan? It was indeed a re-education office. Réponse. En effet, c'était un centre de rééducation. So, is it your testimony that the, the, the title of the office accurately reflects what went on in Krang Tachan? Le titre reflétait fidèlement ce qu'il se passait à Krang Tachan. Le titre de ce que portait ce bureau, qu'on avait donné à ce bureau. Ok. 
did not know the details of the activities of what uh, went on at the Kantachan office. Um, do you know, Mr. Witness, whether Question. people who were sent to Krangtachan were also interrogated about si their alleged uh, activities? activities. They could be interrogated uh, at, the, at that office. Il était possible que ces personnes soient interrogées à ce bureau. Did you ever read interrogation reports, or were you ever informed about the contents of interrogation interrogations of people who were sent there? I never received such a report. Uh, Mr. Witness, there is testimony before this chamber that would imply that people were sent to Krang Tachan, Re-Education Center 105, without being interrogated and executed immediately. Do you know anything about this? Whether they were interrogated or they were kept for quite some time before they were interrogated, that's beyond my grasp of what uh, went on there. Pendant une longue période avant d'être interrogé, ça va bien au-delà de ce que je sais au sujet de ce centre. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Witness. Um, I would like to ask you um, another question about um, words being used uh, within Democratic Kampuchea. And I would like to show you um, two reports, two Trump Court District reports. Um, the first one is E3 slash 2453, and that is uh, English ERN 00388586. And Khmer ERN. I have a copy with the relevant page with me, Mr. President, so maybe uh, if you allow the court officer to present this um, page from E32453 to the witness. And I would like to ask him a question. Yes, you may do so. Mr. Witness, this seems to be a report from uh, Neng Nang, the district. And in the middle of that page, there's a sentence, and I would like to read that to you. Um, it says in English, My analysis is that they have plans to smash our revolution. So it's in the orange, it's in the orange, um, on the first page, Mr. Witness, it's on the orange, um, the orange color. 
So my question is about the sentence, my analysis that they have plans to smash our revolution. What does the word smash mean here? Ils avaient envie d'écraser notre révolution, dit la traduction en français. Que veut dire ici le mot écraser? To smash here means to destroy. Réponse écraser veut ici dire détruire. So it's another word than killing. Is is that what you're saying? Question. Donc c'est un synonyme de tuer, n'est-ce pas? No, in this context, it does not uh, mean killing. Ici, ça ne veut pas dire tuer. It means uh, to destroy. Cela veut dire détruire. I have one more example, um, Mr. Witness, that I would like to show you. Uh, Mr. Merci President, this document is not on the interface. Um, President, le so I'll, I'll, I'll be slowly in putting it before the witness. It's E3 slash en donnant la cote uh, 2053 E3/2050 The English ERN is 00276578 and uh, Khmer ERN is 00079122 and I would like to ask your permission, Mr. President, to also Monsieur present this document to the uh, witness. I also have it, the paragraph colored for easy reference. Concerné pour que cela soit plus facile à trouver. Just for the record, to move things along, we have no objection. L'accusation pour que tout puisse avancer rapidement, nous n'avons pas d'objection, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. For the record, for the record, nous en avons une, en tout cas une réserve. Est-ce que le confrère peut nous présenter le document pour que nous puissions avoir la capacité de le lire avant qu'il puisse le présenter au témoin Je crois que c'était les règles que nous avions tous convenues. Est-ce qu'on peut du coup avoir la possibilité de prendre connaissance du document avant que le confrère pose une question et distribue le document au témoin Um, I, I just said very, very slowly the E3 uh, number, so I would imagine I even see prosecution help being helpful. So I, I think the civil party lawyer should be able to get this document on her screen. Je demande une clarification au président sur ce point. Let me ask the president for clarification regarding this issue.
On this issue, the prosecution does not object to it. However, the lead lawyer for civil parties requests the document to be presented by the uh, defense counsel. And in fact, the defense counsel provided the document number already that is E3 slash 2053. How much time does, rather, how much time do you need uh, the international co lawyer for civil parties for you to review this document before the defense counsel can continue putting questions to this witness? Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Nous avons bien évidemment entre-temps euh, uploadé le document sur notre écran. Je crois qu'il y a simplement un, un problème. Notre confrère ne comprend pas le principe du contradictoire. Le principe du contradictoire, c'est que les parties soient notifiées à l'avance de l'utilisation des documents qui sont faits en audience. Donc il suffit de quelques minutes pour que nous soyons notifiés, que nous puissions le télécharger et qu'à ce moment-là, le document soit présenté aux témoins. Nous ne demandons que ça. Il s'agissait de quelques minutes que nous avons pu utiliser lorsque vous étiez en train de délibérer, mais il me semble important que la procédure soit encore une fois respectée par tous. Thank you. Le président, je vous remercie. And when Council Coupe uh, made an announcement that the document was not uh, uploaded Maître on the interface, and the Chamber of Course considered that because the document is only uh, two pages, and for that reason, we uh, grant the defense counsel to, to, do, to do it and to proceed. And of course, we wish to implement the instructions that uh, we set for all the parties uh, in terms of uploading the documents on the interface. And in the case that you fail to do so, you, provide, uh, you need to provide a reason to the chamber and ask for the chamber's leave before uh, you can proceed with the, the reference to that document. And in this instance, even the co-prosecutor does not uh, object to it. And, to, for, and for the lead co-lawyer for civil parties, uh, you also do not object to it, but rather to remind the parties in the chamber on the principle of uploading the document onto the interface. And of course, the Council of please uh, try to follow the instructions and to uh, upload the documents that you intend to use uh, onto the interface as instructed by the chamber and Council Coupe, in fact, uh, you uh, can proceed, but uh, before Monsieur that, Coupe, you are reminded that you have half an hour this afternoon and tomorrow morning, only one session that is uh, starting from 9 o'clock until the short break. Not, not the full morning sessions. Uh, thank, you, Mr. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Just to clarify, this is a, a typical document <coughs> that came up uh, at the second day of uh, questioning by the prosecution. So um, sometimes things come up, and that's why um, I would like to use this document. It's, it's impossible to always know in advance exactly uh, what we are trying to ask. The idea is to follow procedures. We have acknowledged that this might happen, and we have established a procedure. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, Mr. Witness, I would like to show you, and with the permission of the President, um, I will bring that to you, or have that brought to you, um, E3-2053. <coughs> And I would like to ask you to have a look at the sentence that I colored in orange. 
de lire la phrase que j'ai soulignée en orange. Président, your request is granted. Le Council. président, allez-y, maître. Uh, Mr. Witness, this is a report Maître Copé. apparently from Trump by Trump Pan Tom South Cooperative. Il and de la cooperative de Trump I would like you to have a look at um, English ERN 00276578. And you have in front of you the command ERN, which I don't have now. Vous avez ce um, in the middle, or in, this, or in the third paragraph of this report, de ce rapport, it says as follows. Their, their plans are as follows. And the plans, the, the, the document is talking about uh, four people who are having plans. It says, number one, their five-year plan is to ensure uh, the smashing of the cooperatives. If they cannot destroy them in five years, then seven years. And if they still cannot smash them, they have further plans to do whatever is necessary to wear down the cooperatives and to absolutely oppose communal dining. Uh, my question is a very simple and short one. The word smash, comtec, is being used here as well. Um, can you tell us if, if you know what the word smash means here? Answer. Smash here means Écraser to damage ici, or to destroy the cooperative. Thank you, Mr. Witness. My final Copé, subject is the témoin. following. Uh, that's Une your position question. in relation to uh, teaching. Il à présent de l'enseignement. Uh, you, as I understand, had a position uh, in respect of education si bien compris, both before DK and maybe also during DK. Avant le Can you tell et the Chamber le what was the general purpose of education within DK? What were the aims de of the CPK in relation to education of the people? Are you able to tell us something in general about these objectives? Answer. Council, uh, could you ask me more um, specific? Are you referring to uh, teaching or any or education to which group of people? Um, I'll be more specific. My question is, what were what was the purpose? What were the objectives during the DK regime in respect of education of children, uh, small children, older children, students? What did the DK authorities envisage? What did they try to achieve in terms of education? Answer. For children, réponse. the main purpose of teaching was to teach them how to write, to read. Aux à lire the second et purpose was to Le educate them to love the revolution and democratic Cambodia and to work hard and to do the labor or any work for a progress in their village, commune, and cooperative. And there village, were other purposes, uh, including to make those children to have 
good morality, to be humble, to be gentle, and uh, to give up the character as a, a person of a hooligan or rude person. That's all I can tell you. So was it the objective of um, the DK regime to organize um, primary education to small children, secondary education to older children, and also to create uh, universities? In other words, was one of the purposes, as you remember, of the DK to educate people, educate students, um, Mathematics, mathematics languages, etc. Les étaient prévus d'enseigner les langues, les mathématiques aux étudiants. Answer. During the time when I was at Tramcock. There was a teaching program for the children, and also the uh, teaching of um, alphabet, reading, and also some arithmetic. But there was no foreign language as part of the teaching, and there was also geography as part of the uh, curriculum. So when children were at the third or the fourth grade, there were geography classes. And there were textbooks, students' books, including um, a part of um, Khmer literature and um, thematics. But um, we don't have foreign language as part of our program during the time. But when people fled to the border area, there were programs, um, including foreign language, including English language and Thai language, which is un, uh, operated or taught by the uh, DK after uh, 1979. Are you in a position, Mr. Witness, to say something in general about the position of teachers in DK? Um, were there many teachers, or were you actively looking for teachers to teach the children? What can you tell us about the position of teachers within DK? Answer. Most of the time, the teachers at Tramcock were women teachers, and the training and education were about uh, technical uh, on psychology and also uh, teaching methods were trained to those teachers and the, the training session would be organized every month or every three months. Um, when you were a teacher in the DK period, was that a reason to be fearful? Were teachers um, being threatened? Les enseignants uh, étaient-ils menacés dans cette période Answer. One of the answers indicating that I was a teacher, I was in charge of 105 teachers, but in fact, I was not in charge of this matter. But as teachers at Tramcock, 
We were not fearful of anything. Everyone would do uh, their job at their cooperative as usual. Uh, now, Mr. Bettis, it seems that uh, also after 79, uh, you stayed active in in. in, in uh, Education. Vous soyez resté actif dans uh, le I would de like to, to read to you uh, your answer to question uh, 102, and I would like to ask you to give some more details on this. The question of the investigators is as follows. Les you are now living in Samlot. Do you Vous hold any position in any party or in the civil service? And your answer is no. The Khmer Rouge Et called me to Samlaut in non, 1995, Rouge, and I was assigned to take charge of education in Samlaut. When there was the inter integration program in 1996, the government led by Hun Sen assigned me to be chairman of education, youth and sports of Samlaut district. district Sam Is that answer indeed what you told the investigators? Avez-vous bien apporté, avez-vous bien, bel et bien apporté cette réponse aux enquêteurs Answer yes, this is correct. Réponse oui, c'est exact. In 1995, en 1995, I was called by the marketing company to live in some lot. And I was assigned as a person who is in charge of education. But now uh, we can say um, education for youth and sport in some low district. And later um, in the reintegration into the government, the government assigned me as the chief of uh, chief of um, the department of youth and sport uh, education for some low district and after the 5th and the 6th of July 1970 uh, 1997 correction i uh, fled to live in a camp in Thailand, and when I returned in 1998 or 1999, I was removed from my position as the chief of the Department of Youth and Sport for some law. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Are you able to make a comparison to the state of education in Cambodia, 96-97, and the state of education in general within the DK period? Can you make a comparison with the differences or were there many things the same? It's a difficult question, but I hope you will be able to answer this question. It's a difficult question, but I hope you will be able to answer this question. Answer. Response. During the democratic Cambodia period, before the integration into the government, the current government, and before the current government took control of the education um, uh, matter, it's my apology, Council. I am not uh, well aware of this matter, but when I arrived in some in 1995, the education, the teaching and uh, program for students at some load is much better. Uh, they were both in the morning and in the afternoon. So, um, but uh, the president um, council 
and uh, witness, uh, you seem to go beyond the scope of the question because uh, the question focuses on uh, for you to make a comparison between the education during the K period and uh, after that uh, during the time when you were in some load. Witness. Yes, my comparison of the DK education si and uh, the education during 1996, the education during the K period were focused on textbook and uh, better material, and also the same for the education in 1996. Il y avait de bons manuels, but the education en 1996, during 1995 and 1996 uh, is, is better because we, we had a school building and good classrooms. But back in the DK period, um, the school building were not appropriate. Sometimes uh, we taught students under a tree. But I can tell you only what happened in some load in 1995 and 1996. It was much better than the education back in the DK era. I was in charge of the Department of Youth and Sport. I would invite all teachers every month to um, give them uh, additional uh, training um, for improvement. That's all I can tell you, Mr. Council. My last question on, on the situation of education Merci in DK. Are you able to tell us what the effects were of the civil war, the war of liberation, um, that lasted between 1970 or 1968 and 1975. Did the war have an impact on ed education in terms of destruction of school buildings, etc.? In terms of destruction of buildings, schools, for example. Answer. The war from. Are you asking me uh, from 1970 to 1975? As you know, um, as we all know, Mr. Witness, there was a long civil war up until 1975. My question is whether you can say something about the effects of the war on the education, on school buildings, on organization, etc. Answer. The Réponse. war from 1970 to 1975, it was a five years war. La guerre it de 70 à 75 a duré had a great impact on the school building, Elle a eu des uh, pagoda, and sur other écoles, buildings. Sur and et sur the students bâtiments. and children had enfants, no étudiants, um, chance to get to to study in the building, but um, they had to uh, uh, get their study and education under a tree and Ils to uh, different places which are not appropriate. So the impact of the war was uh, great in uh, extent. Uh, this is uh, what I experienced uh, in Takeo province. I cannot uh, say for other provinces. My, my, last question, my last question, Mr. Witness, was it the purpose of DK to rebuild the education as quickly as possible and, um, to repair the destruction that the war had caused? Is that was what the purpose was in terms of education in DK? Answer. 
After the end of the five-year five war, Après la fin the K had a, a great purpose uh, for improving education. Uh, we try our best to uh, build school buildings and to call more students écoles, and pupils uh, to go to school, and we gave training to teachers about methodology. These are the purposes of the K at the time, and there were other main purposes of the democracy Cambodia in the education. So that's all I can tell you in, in summary, Mr. Council. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Copé, merci, Monsieur le Président. President, uh, we have uh, limited time, but uh, we need to uh, proceed with um, our uh, task that uh, the chamber informed the party this morning, La a dit ce matin au parti especially the request by OCP, um, uh, document D, um, uh, 309 slash 7. Um, and this afternoon, the Defense Council for Nguyen Chia had indicated clearly indiqué on this matter, and uh, the Chamber would like to hear uh, from you um, in response to the request by uh, the co-prosecutor uh, regarding de la the uh, new witness. Uh, de l'accusation. Uh, document E319-7. My correction uh, to uh, Mr. Uh, Defense Counsel for Mr. Kirsten Pond. Uh, the Chamber obtained the uh, oral uh, submission from the Defense Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, but uh, we would la like now to hear from the Defense Counsel from, sujet, for Mr. Kirsten Pond. Bien, Monsieur le Président, Mr. President. sur le fond et la question directement uh, posée, the of the question la déposition écrite asked, de cette personne a déjà été beaucoup évoquée, utilisée lors de cette audience, et nous ne nous opposons donc pas so à la contribution de cette the, personne, uh, car nous sommes très attachés à la règle 84 du règlement. Very much attached to, et au respect du principe du contradictoire. Si vous décidez effectivement de faire venir ce témoin à la barre, il conviendra toutefois que vous nous donniez du temps pour lire les 16 classeurs de déposition tirés des All the documents dossiers 3 et 4 qui ont été transmis um, par le uh, procureur cases three and four, et qui constituent une énorme masse de documents, non seulement à This lire, mais is à a analyser. Huge of not only to read, but Il y a also to analyze. beaucoup probablement d'autres témoins There qui évoquent les mêmes questions other witnesses who que celles qui sont traité par le témoin dont nous parlons à l'instant, et afin de pouvoir contre-interroger correctement cette personne, il convient bien évidemment que la défense puisse prendre connaissance non seulement de la déposition du témoin dont nous parlons, mais également de toutes les autres dépositions qui ont été transmises pour l'instant par le procureur et qui pourraient traiter des mêmes thèmes. Sur ces questions, toujours, je tiens à dire que jeudi dernier, dans l'après-midi, lorsque vous avez tenu une audience de mise en état sur la question des 16 clusters qui ont été transmis par les procureurs, et eh bien, nous avons demandé six semaines de délai sans audience pour pouvoir procéder 
à l'analyse, à, à la lecture et au travail à partir de ces dépositions. Puis le lendemain, euh, votre juriste hors classe, M. Ken Roberts, euh, a transmis au parti un mail euh, au sujet duquel euh, je souhaite demander maintenant une clarification. Euh, dans ce mail, il est indiqué que votre chambre ne va pas reporter la comparution du témoin qui est devant nous parce que la demande en a été formulée trop tardivement, que cette personne est âgée et qu'elle habite loin de Phnom Penh. Et puis, il est également dit que le témoin suivant, TCW 948, sera entendu dans la foulée, mais il n'est pas expliqué dans ce mail pourquoi ce témoin est maintenu. Je ne sais pas si nous devons comprendre de cette absence d'explication que c'est la totalité de la demande, des demandes des parties qui avaient été formulées à l'audience de mise en état de la veille qui ont été rejetées, ou si votre chambre s'est uniquement emparée d'une partie du problème pour dire que le témoin qui est devant nous comparaîtrait quand même, que le témoin suivant également, même si on ne nous explique pas pourquoi, mais j'ignore quelle est très exactement la position de votre chambre sur les demandes qui avaient été formulées lors de la mise en état. Je l'ignore d'autant plus que je n'ai pas manqué, comme probablement tout le monde ici, de noter que dans votre communication du lendemain, Monsieur le Président, qui portait sur les dates des vacances judiciaires, vous indiquiez au parti que celle-ci pouvait profiter des périodes pendant lesquelles la, la Chambre ne siégeait pas pour travailler des nouveaux éléments qui lui seraient éventuellement communiqués. Je ne sais pas pourquoi vous vouliez parler lorsque vous évoquiez ces nouveaux éléments qui seraient éventuellement communiqués, mais il m'a semblé, en lisant ce, ce texte, que cela pouvait éventuellement concerner les 16 classeurs pour lesquels, je le redis ici, nous réclamons un délai de six semaines afin de procéder non seulement à leur lecture, mais à leur analyse. Pour terminer, je tiens à rappeler que la crainte de la défense de M. Kiosampan dans la situation qui est la nôtre aujourd'hui, c'est que se réitère la pratique qui a été adoptée dans le premier procès à savoir que votre chambre a décidé, alors que nous étions en train de rédiger notre mémoire finale, de nous annoncer qu'elle considérait comme étant versée au débat à peu près, grosso modo, 1500 déclarations écrites en lieu et place de témoignages, et que... Eh bien, cette décision fait bien évidemment partie des moyens d'appel que nous avons soulevés contre votre premier jugement. J'entends bien que, pour l'instant, vous avez évoqué le fait que les enquêtes des dossiers 3 et 4 étant toujours en cours, vous n'étiez pas en mesure de maîtriser le sort de flux de communication future qui pourrait intervenir et voir ainsi transvaser les dépositions écrites des dossiers 3 et 4 vers votre procès. Mais il me paraît qu'une telle position n'est pas raisonnable. Vous ne pouvez pas, à mon sens, dans le cadre d'un procès équitable, poser que ce robinet d'alimentation de dépositions écrites et de nouveaux éléments sera perpétuellement ouvert. Vous devez décider d'une règle, qu'elle soit chronologique, en fixant une date, 
chronological ou d'une règle by giving a date president we allowed you the uh, floor non, last time to speak on le, this issue, but you did not uh, participate in Mais that meeting. En fait, vous pas and à cette today, réunion. we only have a very brief moment, and the main focus is on the uh, submission by the Office of the Co-Prosecutors in the document E319-7, that is to hear a new uh, witness. Likely, it was just a one uh, witness. Il ne que so, uh, it seems that you only reiterated the issues and the submissions made by other parties during the trial management meeting that was held last time. Secondly, on the issue of the witness to TCW948, it is not a subject to the request uh, by Nunchi's defense. Nunchi's defense only raised the issues concerning through witnesses only, that is, to TCW803 and 809. The Chamber considers the matter and also notified the parties due to the long distance traveling of this particular witness, and that was uh, reiterated in the report by Visu, who urged the Chamber to uh, continue uh, to hear the testimony of this person as it takes uh, several days, several days for the traveling to and from his residence. And also, that was the point that was raised by Enunji himself. So, I don't think the time that the chamber gave to you, uh, you make your submissions regarding the OCP request on, in the document E319-7, and rather you raise uh, many other points out of this uh, subject matter, and which had already been discussed during the TMM uh, meeting. If you have any uh, submission to make regarding document E319-7, si you uh, may continue, otherwise uh, uh, you will not be allowed Sinon, the floor, eh bien, uh, as we still have another party to uh, provide their oral submission on this matter. And we, only, we are even now running out of time. And in fact, after we listen to the parties during the TMM, we deliberated some of the judges of the trial chamber, and at present we are in the process of issuing our uh, decision. As this matter is also complicated, dealing with the international co investigating judge and the works that he is uh, doing right now. We is we are in the uh, consultation and discussion nous with nous the, the international co investigating charge on the relaxation of certain restrictions on the documents, but so far we haven't uh, got any uh, result yet. And in fact, this morning we were five minutes late, and we were waiting for the response from the international co investigating charge on this very issue, so that we can use it uh, or incorporate in our decision. Nous voulions pouvoir en tenir compte dans notre décision. And if, of course, we cannot make Bien a entendu, decision on this issue, then additional TMM will si be nous ne scheduled. Décision la matière, il faudra prévoir une autre réunion de mise en état. However, Pour there was no need it. since TMM was Cependant, held, and we are in the process of making our decision. De préparer notre décision. And all parties, all parties uh, did not oppose through the uh, through the disclosure of documents by the prosecution as it conforms with the practice of other uh, tribunals, the uh, international tribunals. 
if you have any observation or, or submission to make regarding document E319-7, you may proceed. Otherwise, uh, the floor will not uh, be given to you as the matters you had raised but dealt with in the last TMM. Mr. President, I simply was uh, underscoring the reasons why the matters were raised during the TMM, but you did not avail yourself to attend the TMM. Oui, mais il y a des transcrits que je yes, lis, Monsieur le Président, figurez-vous. Voilà, et je les ai lus en l'occurrence. Of course, uh, you read the transcript, but the time allowed to uh, your team to make observation on this E319-7 is expired. Please be seated. And now the litical lawyer for civil parties, if you have any oral submission to make regarding the request by OCP in reference to document E319-7, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous n'avons pas d'objection à la comparution du témoin qui est proposé par les co-prosecuteurs. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you. Le Président, je vous remercie. The chamber will adjourn the proceedings now and will resume tomorrow morning, that is Thursday, the 12th March 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And tomorrow, the chamber will hear the remainder of the testimony of the witness and Yang Oud. This information is for the relevant parties and the public. Mr. Yang Oud, the chamber is grateful of your presence and testimony. However, it is not yet concluded, and you are therefore invited to return to the chamber tomorrow morning, starting from 9 o'clock. And it is likely uh, that uh, your testimony will uh, conclude uh, in less than two hours uh, tomorrow, and you may then return to uh, your residence. Court officer, in collaboration with uh, WISU, please make necessary uh, transportation arrangement for Ning Wood and a reserve witness, that is through TCW 948, to return to uh, uh, their residence and invite them both uh, to uh, the chamber before 9 o'clock. Tomorrow morning. Likewise, the uh, duty council, Moon Sovan, are invited to return tomorrow morning to assist the witness during the hearing of the remainder of this witness testimony as well as the testimony of the uh, reserve witness. Security personnel, you are instructed to uh, take the to accuse Nunji in Ki and Kilsen Pond back to the detention facility of the EECCCC and have them return to participate in the proceeding tomorrow morning prior to 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.